comes Oracle as well, just for a bit of a battle. Xenian does have to be careful, actually, because Jiao, with all the mana and all the magic damage as well to utilize, back up to the top side of the river, though. Nice body blocks from Tiger. And with this swashbuckle on cooldown, Quafer closes the distance. Tiger's... No sprout for the vision just yet. He's got the point available for it. No, he's just going to have to walk away. Will he be able to get away in time? Don't think so. I guess for a Oh, they're going in onto the Storm Spirit. Mid lane. You've got Jiao here. Jiao coming over. Doesn't have any mana, which is the issue. So Koi for now with a purifying flame kill. Yopaj even going to jump on. That's a deep dive from Yopaj. He's going to be careful. Because actually Quafer now that can turn. If you get the Vortex off. A little bit out of range unfortunately. And a nice dodge with the phase ship. But they are trying to cut through Tiger. Tiger. Is this roll on the mark? It is. It sets up for the Crypt Swarm and the last smack in the face. As Yopaj will fall. Getting a little bit too deep there with his maneuver. And Tiger doesn't even know. But they've still got this bounty rune here. They claim three of them I believe. On uh, Liquid side already. Could have been the fourth, but they'll death? take the kill onto death. It's dead. Tiger. He's going straight for that bloodstone. Top. They're going in. Going for death. the kill here. Play hard. Skem. Get the less up enough, top. Though, with the silence. Not enough. Boxy coming oh, over. No, Quaver as well. well. Yopaj's going to be careful. Face shift. Duking up to the northern side, but he doesn't have abilities until a couple seconds. Misses the gods rebuke in Yopa. Oh, Mikke's here though. But Mikke's hunting. Januel should get some distance, but a nice position in that blood riot. Actually forces him to back off to Mikke. Now with the roll. Tiger. Once again, Tiger is everywhere. Gets the kick slow as well on Januel. And now the Oracle is going to fall. Tiger. Uh... This position one. Yes. You need to be worried about your own safety, but bot lane is just pushing in. You're losing Coil. creeps. You'll claim them with the Wrath of Nature and once again claim Storm Spirit. Oh, it looks like the Wrath of Nature this time is the damage tiger. Gotta be careful as well, because Debil's ultimate just chunked him down. But Liquid bring the boys, dropping the combo. And Debil will trade the life. They do still get the kill on Insania as well, as Januel's gonna pick that up across the map. Uh, it's, it's still ominous the fact that they had that quick rotation in this time around the coordination just a little bit better from uh, Neon You've got Yopaj, you've got Playhard looking to make the play onto the Storm Spirit. They'll get the coil off. Nice wraparound Oh, very the nice. Vortex is gonna give him a little bit of space But the silence after the coil breaks, Yopaj making sure They're forcing Liquid to do something about it Dodges out. Tiger. Catches. Oh, it's Tiger. This would be a big kill. He's four and zero. A lot of gold that's going to get given away. And it's even Debil actually that gets it just with the Wrath of Nature. So 342. Realizing the strength of having an Oracle. His positioning is good. They actually found out the Bloodseeker here. But he should still be fine. Nice use Holy. of the Dream Holder. They're only on one. So pressure. Holding back. The box is going to move forward in the choke points. So they've got to be careful about a big arena. Januel, false promise, has to be forced on himself oh, to play hard. A great falling thunder. And now with the extra silence locked down, Quafer's in trouble. Do they have the damage? They do not. Quafer gets the zip away, but Debil finally showing up with the Orca. They're going to buy back from Insania. Liquid, they want to take the fight to them because Mikke, he's Skins showing low. up. And look at the damage from Mikke. He's chunking down Furion. He's chunking down Payhard as well. Pango will drop. It's a triple for the Bloodseeker. The Yopage Puck is the sole survivor. But a quick silence from Insania after the buyback. Nets Liquid. An incredible fight and an ultra kill for Mickey. Might have a fight break out yeah, though. He's going in DP. Neon. Curl on DP. This would be a big kill. Yeah, that's a die back there. Down for 60 seconds for Insania. Down he on his own. He actually uses the Orchid onto the Koi storm. Koifa's got an illusion. illusion. Nicely done. Keeping that bottled up here from Koifa just in case. Bill's going to try and TP up. It's a roll there in time. Ooh. It's not. Too short anyway. But the that rest of Radiant, they Koifer. didn't they didn't disengage as a team, so they might get punished. Death sidestep the roll, the sans on top of the Oracle. They need to try and bring down Januel because he still has the false promise. It doesn't even matter here. Tiger evaporates. The plus eight armor talent got moved to the level 20 tier. It's a big factor. Once he reaches there, though, he's gonna be a lot tankier. No spirit though, getting gone on. They don't bring down Tiger fast enough. Yeah, they have to retreat away. Liquid sniping on through, but play hard. Commits forward. It's going to sacrifice his life here for the kill. Uh, nature's profit. So once these BKBs start to become a factor on Liquid, 
Yeah, gonna be a little bit troubled. Tiger, man, he's just right. standing right next to him all here. Go, Paj. Boxy gets the catch on death. Where's Remake the Oracle coil. positioning right now? Nice call. Arena's gonna get dropped as well, but it won't matter. Play hard rolling in forward. Tiger's gonna take an immense amount of damage. Mickey pops to BKB. Gonna try and turn, but Death still protected here with Ghost Scepter down to the southern side. Insania with the Exism, but it's just not enough damage right now. Team Liquid, they have to retreat away. They've gone too deep, but Yopaj has been up. Catch up, Mickey. This BKB's been kited. Foxy tries to hold him with some protection. Debil is even gonna TP on the back line. That last right click's not enough, but Debil still claims a triple. He's getting the false promises up in fights. He's getting those defensive factors. So, yeah, Koifa not at the stage yet, as he actually is gonna get jumped and. He's close to a T1 tower, but it doesn't matter. Pops the Bloodstone. Is Koa going to expire fast enough? It is not. You know, we talked about the lowish cooldown. They found Mikkei here a little bit. I think he should be able to just get away. Although Scam's coming to join in. Uh, Mikkei? It could be Pop. Sprout. Nice position. Yo, Pash falling up. Mikkei's taking a little bit too long to TP away. Meanwhile, actually in the mid lane, there's a massive fight breaking out. It's insane here. Along with Tiger. The double supports right now, but still they're hunting Mickey. Mickey falls down for 70. Tiger's gonna get caught as well. Nice block from death. Tiger cannot get the roll, but a kick creates a little bit of distance. I did the teacher Boxy tower. Well. Boxy's even gonna get caught out here as well. The Bill, Yopar, so much mobility these heroes can provide. The TP in the back, the plays from the puck. And that's not all she wrote, as Jopaj even finds a coil on Insania. Neon pushing the tempo too fast for Liquid to handle right now. So they can only get two maps here potential wins compared to Lions have four opportunities. Jow's off to the side here in this little Once nook. again, Mickey. They they're the going to chain lock him down. The Pango ultimate along with the split earth is enough. But Mickey's going to buy back. Box is away from the team as well. He's so dead. even though he drops the ultimate, but Liquid, they're a little bit disconnected at the moment. Mickey buys back, but he doesn't have a TP. Nice roll in, but it will not matter. Once again, you haven't found Genuo. So the false promise keeps your page alive. They're hunting for the storm, but a quick zip gets the distance. But it's a monster kill streak right now for Debil. He should still be okay. No exorcism, no arena. There's no kill potential on those backlines even Boy, further. His positioning has been fantastic. They found Tiger one more time. In comes the Nature's Prophet. Two hit and he's dead. That's all they need. And a classic box, he always spamming it. But now with arena on cooldown and, and well aware of it reading they would have seen them moving up the high ground with that observed one at the back but they're smoked up insania exism they found death but where's the oracle there we go jump in sans a little bit too late so now with the false promise tiger as well they're still straight on top of the oracle if they can take him away at least the heals might be a fact to play hard to the rolling thunder ruptured up he's gonna get brought down they deal with insania so the exism here. not gonna pay off and now scam finally showing up the bkb wants to get active but they're kiting him a little bit at the moment the stuns aren't really shown right now from neon boxy just moonwalking back to the opposite side of the map is trying to make as much space as possible for koifa and mickey you see that radiant are instantly trying to connect with the rest of the team your Paj might be able to bait with the illusion. Koifa falls for it. Now he's got to be careful. Oh, I found him. Because Koifa reveals himself. Where's the actual lockdown coming through for the Rolling Thunder? Potentially they haven't Beal. used it just yet, but it doesn't matter to Beal. He's shredding them apart. They're not dealing with the glass cam and Yopaj, he's in trouble. But a quick false promise. Januel's going to be able to keep him alive down with the river as well. To Beal, Boxy going head to head. Boxy has to drop the ultimate. He's saying he's still going to get shredded apart. The Beal does so much damage. Triple they kill Beal and like, and they call it. Neon, they're gonna take game one here against Liquid. I'll say it time and time again, don't sleep on C because they'll come back and bite you. Neon, in the last 20 games that Yopaj has played, granted it's pubs, 17 wins on the Batrider. Um, Damn, Debeel. The movement speed on Insania. Normally he would buy a win lace just for that little bit of extra Jopaj movement speed to be able to Oh, he does. Up. Mickey, oh my lord, he stays alive. <laughs> oh, that's disastrous. The Batrider thrives on snowballing laves. Of course, and Insania, we saw what the DP could do last game just to put some emphasis on securing the, the power runes. But Genuo, it's going to fall down. But Boxy will pick himself up a kill. Charges there. They make the dive in deep. They really want to secure this kill, but he's got 10 stick charges. Not gonna be enough though. It's over. Yeah, baby. Very nice oh, to push. Keeps his life. Meanwhile, Insania in the river. Genuo, along with play hard. Insania's gotta be careful here. Spirit Siphon, Purifying Flames. He just he gets killed up again. a bunch. And meanwhile, Yopaj. Three kills on the Ember. Oh, sorry. Two kills, I should say. 
Two kills, Boxy. He's standing underneath this uh, area where you've got a lot of Neon Heroes. They're going to go in, lands everything through with the assistance of the Fortune's End. And, and he wants to yeah. utilize this push with the Catapult as well. That's the important thing. And it looks like it's very difficult for Liquid to stop them with the push. Koifer actually just gets a solo kill top, though. There's the Wrath, though. <laughs> As many right clicks from the tower as he can, gives the the block vision. It's still gonna hit it though when he when the catapult actually looks to hit the tower. Tiger, fortunes end, flame break, push back. Tiger burnt down, killing spree right now for Yopage. Well, I think this could even be like uh, oh, so uh, he's getting a TP into the mid lane and they've caught out Yopage. Yopage in trouble. Can he make it up on the higher ground before the stun? He cannot. Even Mickey can follow up if they'd be with the remnant. It can make yourself a little easy to read sometimes, and we've seen that in the past few games with the vision being dewarded. Boy, has got the eggs. Oh, missed the chains. Nice silence as well. Finds a couple of heroes. Ready, looking to back up, but Yopaj actually, with the lasso potential, play hard's gonna roll in. A massive battle around the river. The magnetized slowly oh, nice sticking chains. him down, but now with the chains, find two death protected with the false promise. Liquid, they've already lost two. And they're going to continue for more. Quaifa stuck out. He's going to end up falling. Mickey remnants on aggressively. He's going to go off the high ground straight to Yopage. That's a four down on Liquid. And Boxy's got no net worth to be able to utilize for this fight. Gave everything to Quaifa with the Aghanims. And he's going to end up falling as well. Debil dominating streak now for the Furion. Seems like they're not even out of the hunt as well. Come on, Pass back, play hard. Might be in trouble get here. The TP away here. Actually, Radiant, they're coming down. Yo, Paj hunting. He's so fast. Even the Fury wants to get involved. They got a nice one in the back line, but Dyer. They're closing back towards the T1 tower with reinforcements. Are they going nice to get their fast enough? However, the science prevents them from getting counter near Chef from Tiger. But the Earth Spirit pays the life to get the kill on the Razor. Worthwhile there from Neon. And they can still move on. The bill, yeah. Yopaj, wanting blood. They've even got death moving over here from the oh, left strike. Right. Going to try seconds. and sweep on the back. As Boxy is going to end up falling. Three down on Team Liquid. Um, zip in and out of team fights. Use the damage from that. And then hopefully, you know, the likes of your uh, Razor can do the damage that they need. But instead, he's just died a couple of times. Jow, he's going to be the one popping the smoke. <laughs> the bill just ran out of that area. But they're actually they're cutting around. Man, here. that Wrath of Nature does so much damage. Now I'm going to choke, but they're going to be careful. Look at how deep they they're going. They're standing in the fire. It's too much AoE damage. Just ticking them down constantly. A three-man signs. But Play Hard is tearing them apart on this Earth Spirit. Mickey turns with a slight, but it costs him his life. As even Boxy gets chased down. A full team wipe as Neon. Where is the physical damage coming from? You know, Quaker's going to die again. Far. Oh no, Quaifer, Quaifer. Disconnected from the team. And they draw the line yeah, as well. They might just head to top straight away. And they will. Yeah. They have this global factor here. Like Mickey and Tiger. Travel. Along with Insania. Scan, who do they find? Yopaj runs straight into Insania. If you're not even going to try and TP in and find the Ember Spirit. But Insania will fall. It looks like Tiger as well. Januel, can he guess correctly? Even drops an Observer Ward for that. <laughs> <laughs> so much emphasis on the kill, but play hard, unfortunately. He might be under a little bit of pressure here. Can he get the kick away into the roll? Actually, drop the magnetizer. Now, Debil's coming over. The boxy runs into that. But play hard is okay. He's pretty tanky. 1900 HP, almost 2000. Yeah, maybe Neon have, have cracked the death profit issue that, it, that has been so far from a lot of teams. Instant smoke afterwards. Your push might be a little bit keen here. It's just him. Boxy pops the BKB to get rid of the sun. Never mind. So this is Southeast Asia. Dota, they'll take everything that they can get. Even this courier is going to be food. He gets a little bit distracted, but no, he'll take an Insania. Insania is... This is the time that Liquid were hoping for. Oh, Yopage pops a smoke. Great positioning from him. Remnant in however. Finding Genuel. He's in deep. Off to the back line. Yopaj gonna be able to find Quaifa. Nice toss concoction on Stu with the Avalanche toss combination to build in the middle of the fight. False promise gonna be able to protect him, but it looks like Neon. They're gonna chase the back to roll forward straight on top Insania. Mickey was a man fight with the BKB, but it has to utilize the remnants to reset. 
As they're still falling pretty low here from Neon. They've got the Aegis respawn. Debil's going to come back for another life here as he's chasing down Mickey. Another remnant to be able to utilize for the Fortune's End Mickey's in the nick low. of time. Mickey's actually going to move in aggressively. And the kick down finds the kill. Debil has also got the Sprout. Four will lose their life as Insania. They want a full team wipe here. As Debil, no Peekaboo, no retreat for you, Insania. Down he goes and down Liquid go. Five on the deck. Boxy, they see them outside the base. Mickey's got a BKB, but the last one's going to prevent that. Now that you have the damage to go through him, they do. Boxy will attempt the TP out for the roll in the nick of time. They no both buyback. don't have buyback. And meanwhile, what's going on here? Death is just chasing him down. Alka actually just got enough gold for his own buyback, but Ember's down 200. They're doing it. You know, the Neon that everyone was riding off after day one. Only the one Toss win. back. Concoction. Oh. Nice attempt here. Furion's fully incredibly low, but Tabil's going to pop the BKB. And now, with the protection of the False Promise, they're just going to push back Liquid further and further inside the base. They go. Boxy straight on top Dive of him. Back. No buyback available. Down for 70. Tiger as well. We'll try and blink back to safety. But Radiant, that's their base now. They've completely occupied Liquid's territory. And they're going to try and put him in the grave. Then you see that you've got some invulnerability to turn and man fight. And because the build That's has gone for oh, Insania. He's got some heroes nearby, but he might just have no extra support as they're going to let him die. And even death here, the, the damage is going to start to ramp up even further once he hits his level 18. We've got what the BKBs go on. Paj. The Razor, he's finally been able to pick it up. Outside the base they are, Boxy is going to try and get the concoction, but a long range lasso cancels that. He's racking them straight on top of Insania, Debil's just going to TP in the middle five with the protection of the BKB. Quaif the straight him oh drive, my God, so much damage. but Raidy just shred him apart. Insania still gets the ultimate off, Debil can't stand his grand now. He's lost all of his damage, but at least with the false promise, or Kenny, Debil's pushing back Quaif for... That's a dieback from Insania, and they've got no buybacks all up. It's just Mickey holding his life, and... Wow. After there was day the effectiveness one. again. Yeah. The effectiveness That's... of that Witchblade, the Gleep, it doesn't matter how much damage you've got stolen, you're still able to do something to the enemy team. And with how fast he's attacking, it was just curtains for liquid.